Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our walkthrough of Chrysalis, the premier church child theme for Divi. In this walkthrough, we're going to give you an overview of why we made Chrysalis the way we made it and how to best utilize it to deepen the effectiveness of your web ministry. Now, the first thing that you should know is when we were making Chrysalis, we had the average size church in mind. So we feel like a lot of themes are made for mega churches um, or super big churches that have a different set of resources available to them to do their web ministry. And so we were trying to think about the constraints that your average size church has uh, when building their website. And so that informed a lot of our design decisions in Chrysalis. Um, we should also note that before we start that we're in these walkthroughs, we're assuming that you have a cursory understanding of Divi and all its functions or a desire to learn um, those functions. Divi has great support materials and has a wonderful blog. And there are lots of resources for Divi. We want to particularly give you resources to help you maximize the effectiveness of Divi for your web ministry. Also, um, you should know that this is just one of many walkthroughs. We think that we, by the time you we're done with all of these walkthroughs, that you'll have a complete picture of how to use every advanced feature we've uh, taken advantage of as we designed Chrysalis. Now, when you're looking through the home page, um, you get a good idea for the colors, uh, the fonts that we've used, and um, a good idea of how we're employing images on the site. One of the things that we realized about your average size church is they don't always have a robust photo ministry. And so we've incorporated photos all throughout the chrysalis theme, but you'll notice they're always displaying in a smaller size. Uh, that gives you the option of using lower quality images and still having them look effective on the site. There's also a lot of places where you could just simply leave off the image and it would still work. And one of the best examples um, of this is how we've done the headers. So on each of the page headers, we've taken the featured image for that page and we've put it behind this nice gradient background. And we don't even make it go all the way through. So again, it can be a smaller size, lower quality image. But if I didn't have a featured image for this page, it would still look nice. So it'd be a nice gradient um, that would sit behind the header text. Let's talk about the colors. So one of the things that we try to do when we're developing websites for churches at Abounda and with Facespring is making sure that the designs we use work with all of the common liturgical colors. And that's the case with Chrysalis too. We've chosen to do the, um, the kind of royal blue that you would find during Advent, but in truth, you could put any of the other liturgical colors and pair them up with these taupes and beiges and goldenrod colors, and they would still work. And so a lot of churches have chosen one of these other liturgical colors as kind of their primary color, and those should all work. In addition, other colors will probably work too because the beiges are very neutral and will pair well with a lot of other colors. In addition, we've employed global colors on chrysalis. Global colors are relatively new uh, feature for Divi. And I'll just show those to you. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, an overview of how global colors work. So here on this button, this worship on site button, it's uh, that nice deep blue color, not quite navy. If I go to design and I go to button, 
the button background color, I can see it's using a global color. You know it's a global color because it has this little point down here. And then here you'll see all the global colors that we've employed on the site. So we have the three different colors of blue and the two goldenrod yellow colors. We didn't do the beiges, they're neutral. We assume that you wouldn't wanna change those. Uh, but if you did for some reason, you can still change them. You'll just have to do them manually. Now, I could change the global color from this button from blue to green. And it should change everywhere that global color is set on the entire website. One thing that we'll note about the global colors is that while we we're making Chrysalis, we realized that if we changed the global color, it didn't quite update that color everywhere, uh, particularly in backgrounds. It often would not touch that color. So even if you use the global colors, you'll probably still need to go through all the layouts and pages and make sure uh, that the color is updated correctly. Another thing that we paid close attention to in the Chrysalis theme was accessibility in our design. And what we mean by accessibility is making sure that the site works well for those with vision impairments. And so you'll notice that a lot of our designs are pretty high contrast. We'd recommend that you keep that trend going and also that when you're um, using uh, images that you make sure you put their alt tags on them for screen readers, which will also help with accessibility. The images that come with the theme are all um, Creative Commons images that you're welcome to reuse. Um, as placeholders until you find images that you think are more appropriate. I'd also like to note that as you go through the site, you'll find lots of writing tips. Anywhere where there normally be content, we're gonna give you writing tips to help you figure out what kind of content to put in that section. And so even down here in the posts, Hopefully this will help you develop your content for all of your pages. One of the other things that we did, particularly for power users of Divi and WordPress, is instead of putting our CSS in the child theme, we've actually put it here in the custom CSS. Uh, if you know what you're doing, you can come in here and you can tweak some of the things that we've done. Uh, similarly, in our use of advanced custom fields, um, we put in the field groupings and all that code here where you can change it in ACF instead of putting it in the child theme. We want to note that Chrysalis takes um, large advantage of the theme builder. The theme builder is a very powerful Divi tool um, that allows you to set up um, different looks for all of the dynamically generated content on your site. So your 404 page, when somebody um, enters an address that doesn't exist, uh, when people are looking at a sermon, or they're looking at a group, or they're looking at uh, a, a author page, we basically put custom looks for all of those. This is also where you go to find the global header and the global footer. If you're not familiar with the theme builder, it's just like working in the normal Divi visual builder, except you have to go to this area of Divi to, to access it. Next, I wanna talk about how we paid attention to the various audiences that churches need to speak to. A typical church has two primary audiences. Uh, one is visitors and the other is uh, disciples, congregants. Um, you'll notice up here in the top menu, there are actually two different menus at play. And this first menu is mainly geared towards visitors, uh, prospective people that might 
come and check out your church. We want to make sure that this is appealing to them. And then this corner menu over here is the insider menu. It's things that people who are already familiar with your church would probably need, um, like the donation, uh, the contact page, or uh, your member portal. Finally, I want to talk uh, about a feature that's present on almost every page in the Chrysalis site. It's this corner contextual menu. Um, contextual menus are really useful because uh, they allow you to see where you're at within a larger topic. So you can see here that history is part of the about pages, but then you can see all the other pages that are within about. Uh, on some pages, these are just links within the page, and it'll just help you jump down uh, to that specific place. And yet other pages, we've put in uh, places where you can put quotes here or places where you can um, have a call to action, uh, like to sign up for your mailing list. Um, we think this is a very useful feature and will help people travel around your site easier. This concludes our overview of Chrysalis. Please be sure to check out the rest of our handy walkthroughs. Thank you.